got to be involved in the transformation of Nigeria because Jesus came to transform the society and to bring a new value system, and we as Christians should be imitating him. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so what do we all think about all this we've had tonight? Um, it's going to be a, a lot of hard work, but... Closer. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's necessary. Um, there's a story of a, of, a, of a town. It used to be unruly, um, disorganized, and uh, they used to have, there was a certain place, um, a, a respected person was visiting, and uh, they stayed for some time, and they had to use a toilet. And before they used the toilet, they noticed that it was dirty. So they started cleaning it. The, the, the person themselves was cleaning the toilet. And then they asked him, but uh, you, are, you are such and such. Why are you doing such a thing? I mean, can't you get someone to, to do it for you? Or I was like, no, I'm the one who's going to use this thing. And so I have to clean it. And uh, I can't use it in any other way. I can't use it when it's dirty. So I have to clean it so I can use it. So when people saw this, they actually started doing something about it. And then I remember on television years, years back, um, there was an ad of a guy who was a respected person. So he got off a, a car, a motorcade, and then there was a crowd waiting for him. And then as he stepped down, he stepped on gum. So what happened was that because he was too busy with the people, he tried to get the gum off his shoes so he'd walk and then go like this and then walk and then try and rub the thing off. And then the next week, it was the new walk of the town because everyone thought it was his new way of, of doing things. So in a nutshell, uh, we need to start with ourselves. We need to start doing things, showing things. Because sometimes it's not what you say but what you do that matters. And then also we need to get people like celebrities, people in the media, to be doing these things, to be reading in public. Today we had an example of uh, how pastor, the pastor was giving the speech today. She said that she would go into the metro and then sit, read one of Pastor Sandy's book, and then uh, forget it. And then that's how she went about distributing books around because People saw that, ah, someone was reading, it must be interesting. So we should go out and we should actually show these values because it is easier when you show them. And then another thing is that it is easier, uh, reminds me of another title of a book that says it's a sin for you not to be a, to be a success. So we, we have to make it if we have not already. How do you know about that book? You speak Russian? Uh, no, I don't speak Russian, but it was one of the books that was introduced. Oh, she presented yeah, it. She presented oh, it. I was yeah. wondering. Ah, I don't have it in English yet, as you know it. I was wondering how. <laughs> yeah. <So laughs> it, is, is, it, is it an intriguing it's title? It's an intriguing title, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite intriguing. So A presentation? Oh, yeah, the presentation, yeah, as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Totally different. If we go about doing this, if we, if we, if we, if we show, like for example, people want to live in big houses, they want to drive the biggest cars because they want to have uh, money and they want to be nowadays, which is a thing, spraying money around. That, no, I've got money, I've got money. But do you, do you have that in your country? Uh, not really. Okay, thank yeah. God. So now, if, if, you, if you get successful people to be doing these things, to be acting this way, for example, one of the most intriguing things about uh, Warren Buffett is that he lives a simple life. So it shows that you don't really have to uh, show the world you have money for you to have money. So th it's one of the values that uh, he doesn't have to say it. He has already shown the world that, guys, this is how it's done. So we have to go out and show it. That's basically uh, my point. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor. Um, this, for so far, you've actually redefined um, 
my perspective about law and about order. Order. <laughs> Yeah, because um, I, I used to belong to the crowd that sees law as punishment or that sees law as a thing that um, some people just came up with. <laughs> a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people just came up with just to punish one person or maybe because of something or they just, they just created the law to, to, to defend themselves and abuse other people. So, but now, um, you've, over, over the week now, you've, you've actually made um, me to see uh, the fact that um, we, we really need to look at things critically. We really need to look at, especially this, um, this night um, um, topic, presentation, yeah. presentation about the pain. Okay, let us now say, okay, we don't want this law. And let's see what comes out. <laughs> out. Let's see the results of we just saying, okay, we just don't want to be law abiding. We just don't want order. And let's now see the consequence, the pain. And um, I think every normal being every no, every human being will agree with the fact that especially the videos you actually um, showed us today will agree with the fact that if we are law, to law is better <laughs> <laughs> if we are to remove law and see yeah, exactly we will all definitely die we will all definitely be um be be, be, be dying and uh, the pain that comes without law is greater than the one that comes with um, the price that we are to pay by just abiding, by, by just being orderly, by just you know going by the laws and all those things. And also another point, another thing you 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 made me realize is the fact that um, most of the time we s we talk about things, we talk about great things, we talk about great nations, we talk about um, great um, sites, we talk about um, achievement, we talk about success, but. Most of the time, we actually don't know the, the reason behind all those things. Like, and that is one thing that has really killed Africa. Everybody, everybody's saying that, okay, Africa will be the giant of the world and this and that. And that. But people, Africans, don't even know the principle. What has the made process, America yeah. the process? What has made America great? What has made um, you know, Europe great? What has made Russia so powerful? People don't even know that they have, they have some things that their citizens, even, even the children, like um, what Pierre was sharing with us, even in literature, down to the local level, and I think was it not yesterday when you were talking about how the local, what the most important place to start with is the local level, the villagers, how we can tell our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents that, okay, for instance, you, okay, you guys might think, okay, what we are bringing could be a little bit of discomfort, but come to think of it, it's actually for your own benefit. Okay, you could agree. Some of them will say, oh, I personally don't need it. Okay, yes, fine. You might not need it, but have you think of your neighbor also? Okay, you can guide yourself. You can be law-abiding, but do you, can you actually guarantee us that your neighbor will also be law-abiding? So for us to make um, order and law a, a general thing in the society, we all need to implement this. We all need to be intentional about it. And that was actually the last statement you gave about the fact that you said to resolve the problem in any society is to be intentional. And when we talk about being intentional, is the, the only way to be intentional is by creating laws and creating things that will make people unconsciously and consciously, they just, they just tend towards, they just start doing things right without not being told, without, because we've seen the fact that, you know, like um, the example um, the sister was giving about Namibia, you know, she, uh, nobody to actually sat her down to say, like, okay, this is how you should dress. But constant hearing over propaganda. the media, no. propaganda. Now, we actually, and I think that is one thing is, that is affecting us in Africa. Now, the solution is just simple. What are our media houses? What are they doing? How can we, how can we use them? for the growth of the society, for the growth of uh, the nation itself or the continent itself. Can we, can we, can we start um, propagating um, things like this? How people, especially looking at the road um, accidents in Africa. Okay, let me just use Nigeria as a case study. My undergraduate days in Nigeria, there is no day I'm going to be traveling from Adwiki to Lagos. I pray. In fact, I even go to my pastor. I tell my pastor that, oh, I'm, I'm, this time around I'm going to school. So he should be praying. I will be praying, and my parents also will be praying, because every day I'm on the road, you just see various accidents. It's, it's like you see dead bodies on the road. It's like Lagos Ibadan Expressway. That is just... It's just so accident. the argument is that those ones, they don't pray, eh? 
<laughs> for them to pray and they're still having the accident. <laughs> exactly. Sir. Which means the answer is not in prayers, right? Yes, the answer is actually not in prayers. Now, coming to Europe... It's in order. It's in order. Coming to Europe, I can count the number. If In fact... I have never seen. I've been, been here. Let me see. I just, I've been here for thirty years. I've never seen body maybe on just, the street. Maybe since I've been here for the five, maybe just one. And the way the government even addressed the the little kid and the the, the, the guy that was involved in that accident was just so small. I I, I think the, the the little boy did not even know that this was actually done, and that was just one. But compare comparing that experience to what I've seen, I've seen hundreds of cases. In Nigeria, and even if I don't, if the ones that I, this is the one I saw physically, these are the ones I saw physically. But what about the ones we see in news every day? So it's so simple. And now the best thing, that our the best response in Africa, in Nigeria, to be precise, is that people, even in my church, the only answer, the only solution to that is prayer. Wow. They say it is the work of the devil. That is just the the nearest. That is now I I now got you now made me understand that when people don't have this knowledge. They, 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 they tend to look for excuse. They tend to look for um, things to hold responsible for. And that is why they've been, uh, they've been holding witches and wizards and wicked people responsible for things that you will even ask yourself in America, do you think there are no, do you think there are no demons in, in, you know, even if you really understand the word demon itself, you will know that it's, it's not something that is just restricted to Africa. So now comparing what is happening in Africa and comparing what is happening in Europe that we are presently, you will see that there is a big gap and the reason why that gap exists is just, the, oh, the only reason is just this law and order. Because citizens, they know how to, the speed limit, when you were saying something about speed limit itself, that alone could have, it, that alone will save Nigeria today a lot of um, road accidents. Just by every citizen, everybody knowing uh, the speed limit, that alone is enough. Is enough. So um, I, I think um, the only solution we, you, or we can give is now to be intentional, and not just to be intentional, we could also be intentional by bringing it down to, to, to its lowest level, to the, low, to the people that, uh, that really need it, to, to kids, to, to old people, to people that really need to understand that it is not, law and order is not actually punishment. It's actually for us <laughs> to, to have a better future. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I want to start with uh, 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 painting a picture of um, what happens when we get married and we start having children and, and all of a sudden we discover that there, there is no order in our kids. And then we start looking for a way to, to shape up that child. The result is because that order was never in us. Mm -hmm. before we actually got married, before we started producing those children. We never had it. Because if it was in us, it would come out in them as well. So we, the reason why we don't, have, we, 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 we don't have the money we're looking for from, from a different perspective is because there is no law and order. Because without law and order, you can't even invest in your brother. There is no trust. You don't trust no one. Even if you trust your brother, you don't trust the law. Because the law is not enforced. When you think investment, let's talk about us that, that are outside of Nigeria. When you want to invest, invest with, on, on someone, you want to invest a little money. The fear is if this money or the business didn't go as planned is what will happen to your money. And then another fear is how do you recover it? You are not sure. <laughs> why no law and order? So why we, 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 uh, why we are not going to grow from where we are is as a result of this law and order. Yeah. Instead, we keep getting worse because if you, even if you keep making uh, uh, money where you are until mm. that money is reinvested it's not going to multiply mm. 
and the people you that is going to multiply the money, you don't trust them. There is no law and order. So you, you remain where you are. They remain where they are. And when they're asking you for money, maybe you just dip your hand, you give them a little again. And you keep giving little, and that one keeps going down. So there is no growth around it. There is no, there is no way we can avoid, avoid this. This is the only way. This is, the, this is like the foundation. This is like the beginning of life. This is like, like the milk you will give a, a, a breastfeeding a child. This is where it starts for, for me. This is where it starts. This is the beginning. If we can abide by this, and, and it, 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 the thing is we wait till when there is crisis, then we start looking for help. We start raising our hands. We start crying. We start looking for who we feel pity for us. But it's time where everybody go wake up. Wake up. And then let that vision begin to show. Because the thing is, what we are looking for in churches, what we are looking for in, in so many places, can be found if only we can put law and order in place. For me, this is the best class I've ever, I've ever been, in fact, I, I see it as, I have, I have just, it's now and I feel like I'm just showing up. In the world. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody say, say they are born again. I woke up. Because I never really know the meaning of born again. The born again I was attaching is the things you have to do physically and not do physically. But now, it's now that you, I will say I'm born again. Because you are awake. Because now I, I begin, now I, I don't get them. <laughs> I don't get them. This is the beginning. This is the foundation. Without this, we're not heading anywhere. Without this, nothing is going to, is going to happen. Without this, we can... In, in fact, without this... The I foundation see, of society. I see us being 100 times worse. Hmm. Because this is the foundation. This is why we are running to Europe. This is why we are looking for greener pastures. That's true. Is Europe more greener than Africa? No. I thought we have more bush than... Yeah. than uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hmm. So, there's more green there, but we can't see it. Because we are... We are, we are, we are it's, it's, like when, it's like being born blind. That's what is happening to us. Because nobody is teaching us any principles. Nobody, nobody, they, uh, no, and, and, the, and the thing is, we don't even want to put ourselves down to learn these principles. Because no. it's, that, it's that pride, that pride, the spirit of pride will begin to say, who be this person, who he be, who he be. You are asking questions. And even when you see the person is bigger than you, more fruits than you, more ideas than you, people will still be challenging it. Because mm. we don't have understanding of what life of the, the understanding of order I, I i hope that my fellow nigerians will wake up my fellow africans will wake up amen because uh, 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 the western world when they uh, I, I was once in a flight and this white man you say where are you going to say london i say you live there say yes yeah. say really Because I can't see what he was seeing. <laughs> because he's wondering, why should you yeah, go? Yeah, he, he, he was looking at me like, so I'm leaving this comfortable place to go to the cold? That there is a lot. That he, he was trying to communicate it to me, but I don't want to have that conversation. I was just trying to run away from it. You know? <laughs> because because I, I, can't, I can't reason from his own point of view. Hmm. We, 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 sometimes we look at them and we say, oh, white people, they don't go to church, they are not this, they, but they are living with principles. They have mastered it, and they are practicing it every day. And that is why you will see, you, that is why we can come here and we don't want to go back. But the good news is what DSA is doing today. Amen. And I hope that every one of us will buy into this idea and then begin to apply their own little effort from ev any little place where you are. Spread the message. 
spread the message. Even if we're 100 and we keep spreading and spreading it, one day we're going to have 500. One day we're going to have 1,000. And before you know it, everybody is, say, is, is talking the same thing. Sometimes I was wondering, why do, why do these people gather when they say uh, uh, that they are prime minister, they want to have a debate about, about uh, 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 to share their vi the, the vision of what they want to do, why people should vote for them. Now I begin to understand it because people already know what they want. Yeah. They are voting for what they want, not who, not who is coming out. But we don't even know what we want. Please, in your own little way, whatever burden you have in your heart, arise. And let's change Africa for good. Okay. Uh, thanks. I just want to add a little here. Uh, because it's like I've been listening, just as uh, my brother just finished now, that since I've been listening, on fa following on Facebook about this program of going to Nigeria, of establishing things, there's this word, spread, spread, spread. I don't know, where I, to whom are you guys spreading this? With this, I don't think if there's somebody who has to be convinced. This is to put things at work right now. Because like me, what I believe is that once God put ideas in you, the moment God gives you any idea is to put it in action. With this new implementation or what revivals or whatever, you, I think there's no need to convince anybody. It's just to put it in action. I want to give an example. In my culture, like uh, I'm from a largest tribe in Namibia, I'm a Bambu. We are the majority. And then, uh, let me say, like 80% of my country, we don't believe in circumcision. 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 Men circumcision. Even if they are Christians? Yeah. Only a certain tribe, and there are only how many, like 20% of the population. They are the only one who do circumcision. Wow. And then now, since there's this new research that was done by the World Health Organization, yeah that circumcision can prevent, I mean, if a person is circumcised, can also prevent HIV AIDS and all this. Now there's a campaign going on now for Namibian men to be circumcised. It wasn't easy to convince them. It was never easy. They couldn't understand why I'm grown, God created me like that, why should my skin be cut? And if he wanted me to be cut, I could be born cut. Just a lot of reasons. <laughs> Now, later on, they find out that what are we going to do with these people? They had target like, at least per year, let us reach a certain amount. People were not coming out. And then later on, they started with the campaign, and then, okay, you know, as women, we are easily to be convinced. We started taking the kids, and the elders, they are still the men they don't want. And then, it was like going on, slow by slow, they were convinced, and then, they give this in the hand of a musician. Young, I think he's 32. Just these things, he's playing music, he's putting circumcision there, and then what? If you look even on the internet now, how many people are being circumcised? You won't believe it. They are going, they're in the queue. That's just another example that these things should be implemented. If I was a Nigerian, I could have started now, summer holiday, this summer holiday coming. I could have gone and start already. A campaign. A campaign. It's easy. You don't need to convince president. You don't even need a letter, a permission from who. You are a citizen of the country. The only thing, like, for the young ones, maybe that you can start with. Like, for instance, you want to start with a higher education, or you want to start with a primary school, you go to the regional head or whatever of education, I'm Regina Nampolo, I'm a medical student, I'm studying in Ukraine. And then I'm a fifth year me uh, medicine student. I want to visit five schools in your region. I'm going to talk about this and this and this. Who will refuse education? Yeah. Who will refuse? I'm going to talk to the girls from age six to 15 years old, only girls. And then. You just, what you're going to tell them is what you learned here. 
the, the, the what? This value system. Yeah. Those people don't know. Those kids will not know. All those things that you're going to talk about, they will be new to them. Just the same way I give an example that I hate something. Long ago, when I was maybe 12, 8, but up to now I'm putting it in practice. Just by hearing it on the radio. If you just go school by school, you talk with the principals. I'm coming on Monday. I only need one hour to talk to the girls and the boys. You have your topic in place. You came, you present it. If you can talk, communicate in their native language or if it's English, you give. That is another. You change. You go to another school, you do the same. Later on, you will see that you are the one who came. They, later on, they will come and look for you. That our kids change. Even the parents at home, they will see they, there was somebody, there was a meeting at school, and kids are just talking about this. They improve, and what, what? Who was, who's that person? At the end, they will be the one to search for you. They want these things. They just don't know where to start also. Just the same way you are saying, what we must, there's no way, you don't need to convince anybody, is to put things at work right now. Just see what topic, which side are you comfortable with. And then you put it at work, it will work. Just all these days that I've been sitting here, I've learned a lot. And I have things already in place, what I'm going to do during my summer holiday. I have things that I just pick up here and I'm going to implement it. Let me not waste time. Let me just give another example. Like the plan that I have right now, just by listening this, I can't say my country is 100%. In my country, there's this man now, but I was just thinking about it and then looking at it that what lead, what caused this in my tribe and in my country? Why are the men like this? We have a problem with Namibian men. What they do, he will come to you, he impregnates you. They don't care, they don't have this responsibility that let me look after this person, let me look up after this child. The moment he finds out that you are pregnant, just the moment he finds out that you are pregnant, he's gone. He will come to her, impregnate, and there's no law, there's no culture, there's no church that's against what he's doing. He give a child to this one. The moment he just find out that she's pregnant, and he will be even the one to convince, I need a baby, I need a child. Even people, we have been together for five years, what will people say? They will think maybe that I'm not productive and what, what. You know how women are, you are convinced. You give a child. You don't know that in Kiev, I mean in Vinisa, he's saving another child. The moment he just find out that you are pregnant, bye-bye. He got to another. They, they are just doing like that. that whose name, who's name do the children bear? The father. last name. Father. But why should, if he left, why should you give him the name? Who's if he, if my name? If I'm a girl, the, the uh, yes, name. last, yes. If I'm the girl, like that, and you, you depart from me, why should I give you the, the family, name? family, everybody it's, would disagree. It's not his child, child because he left. It's not his child. That's what is it is no be. sperm that determines child. It is responsibility. Yes. Now, things, that's okay. It's go, it's, we take it now that it's normal. We take it it's, that it's normal. Even for the men, it's okay. That's how it is. And it's going on. Now I was asking myself, where did this culture come from? You see all the women with their children. Where are the men? What's happened from the beginning? Do you understand? And then I come to realize I was, I was once uh, doing my practical with my, it was during summer holiday, and then I was doing with one uh, doctor, he's from uh, Zimbabwe. He asked, Regina, tell me, why is it always that it's men that are coming here? Malnutrition and old men, they are not looked after. Why? I never seen any woman, old woman coming here. Why is it only men? If you ask them about their wife, they say, the woman is not there, I don't have a wife. Meaning that in their old age, they end up being alone in their houses. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not talking about not 50% of the men, 70 or 80. It's a culture. It's going on, I'm telling you. It's a culture. So that's what you feel and like addressing. There's nobody to punish them. No law, no culture, no bad. And that person... 
he impregnant, no culture that we even say give 1,000 to her because you do this to her. Freely, moving a freely man, nobody, he will not even contribute anything. Not even to the child. Even for the government, like they have these things here, maintenance, whatever. It can, he can even lie that, no, me, I don't work anymore, I have a lot of, and then imagine if there are 20 children, how will his salary divide among 20 children? And that's what is going on. I find it out that these people, the problem came from the beginning that during those old years. I guess what you want to say is that now you want to challenge that problem? You want I want. I found out already where the problem came from. Yes. Their father, those people but never received their love from their father. Yeah, and what to do is the question. I know what yeah. to do. Okay. What I'm going to do, since I found out what lead them, what caused them to be like that, I found out that they never receive fatherly love. love. Yeah. They don't know how, to, how it feels to be with a father. Right. That's why they don't feel that it's, it's important really to be, with, yeah. to be with my children. And then what I have now in mind is that is to change this young generation mindset. And then I think I even started already talking with some few for my family and neighbor. Mm -hmm. That how do you feel your father is not here? But Christians don't behave like that though. Born they are Christians. Mm -hmm. They are Christians. They go to church every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's like, I'm now going to, to start with these young boys. Like even at... Uh, 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 value system. It's yes. still a question of value system. Just to teach yeah. them the importance of a father to be there. The importance mm -hmm. of not to go in, impregnate. You, you, uh, did you listen to my series, though? On yes, my, I What is mine? No, uh, I'm talking I, about mine. No. Uh, father. Mm -mm. Okay. I have a whole series, a big series. I think I have to. On YouTube. Just to teach them yeah, really the value. You. Because mm -hmm. I even tried this holiday when I was home. I meet like three, four boys. But actually, they were my neighbor. Another one was my cousin, uh, my, my sister's son. I asked, how are you? Do you have a boyfriend? Then he said, yes. What are you doing with a boyfriend? With a girlfriend. girlfriend, girlfriend. He's just 13 years old. No, he's just my girlfriend. We talk, we chat, and what? And then I say, what if she become pregnant? What will you do? No, 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 she will not become pregnant. And she will not become pregnant. Don't you guys come in contact? Yes. And then you're saying that she will not become pregnant. You must be ready. She, she, anytime she can become pregnant, and he was like, huh? And then I said, how, where's your father? No, 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 he's, wait, 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 wait. How do you feel to be at home without a father, only with your mother? And then he was like, what? I feel bad. Why are you feeling bad? Because my father is not here. And then I say, do you want what's happened to you? Do you want your child one day to feel like the way you are feeling? No, 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 no. Why? It's very bad. Sometimes you want to talk to your father. I'm a boy. There's things that I don't want to share with my mother, but there's no one to talk to. And then I say, the moment you made a mistake and you impregnate that girl, your child is going to feel the way you are feeling. And the boy should know that. They don't know. Somebody even ask big people, he's a born again, he became a born again today. Why? You need somebody to stimulate you, just to wake you. You yeah. might think you know everything. Mentorship, Until yeah. somebody stimulates you, that's where you are going to know that I'm an empty box. Those kids, they just need to be stimulated. And generation should start over again. What was done by our elder, uh, our father, forefathers, should end there. Amen. Oh, thank you. Let me not speak this time. Yeah. So we should all identify a particular problem like that and address them. Paul, you wanted to say something, huh? You are going. Okay, because you had raised up your hand before.